Look, I'll just be honest with you. I can't think of an intro. Hello and welcome into Tool Fan Reacts, my secret YouTube channel. That's nothing but an excuse for me to never leave this chair. So I hope you like seeing me sit in this chair and I hope you return for more of me in this chair. I hope nothing brightens your day more than the image of me in this chair. All right, we are back with another Lori Anderson request. This song is called Only an Expert, and this does not appear to be an actual music video, so my commentary clearly will not be on that, but it will be of the song itself. Before we begin, I would suggest she fire the eyebrow person and promote the mustache person into overall facial hair person. Anyway, I've been talking a lot and I don't think you care for it. So let's get on with Only an Expert by Lori Anderson. And here we go. Now only an expert can deal with the problem because half the problem is seeing the problem. And only an expert can deal with the problem. Only an expert can deal with the problem. So if there's no expert dealing with the problem, it's really actually twice the problem. Because only an expert can deal with the problem. Only an expert can deal with the problem. In America, we like solutions. We like solutions to problems. And there's so many companies that offer solutions. Companies with names like the pet solution, the hair solution, the debt solution, the world solution, the sushi solution. Companies with experts ready to solve these problems. Because only an expert can see there's a problem. And only an expert can deal with the problem. Only an expert can deal with the problem. All right. This is wild. You know, I was about to say that this is vastly different from Oh Superman, which is the other Laurie Anderson song I reacted to. Thingy here for that. It does have the, some of the same DNA as Oh Superman. Obviously a much more produced sound and more, more complex percussive elements than in that song. But the spirit of Laurie Anderson is still front and center. And yeah, and so far this seems to be a commentary on us not being able to solve our own problems. You know, a lot of times they'll say that a company will be successful if they can present a solution to a problem that people didn't even realize that they had or know that they had. And if you look at it that way, if it's something that they didn't know that they had, is it really a problem? And we are probably very capable in our own right to come up with our own way to deal with these quote unquote problems, but we'd rather put our trust in these companies to come up with the solutions for us. Let's carry on. Let's say you're invited to be on Oprah and you don't have a problem, but you wanna go on the show and so you need a problem. And so you invent a problem. But if you're not an expert in problems, you're probably not going to make up a very plausible problem. And so you're probably going to get nailed. You're going to get exposed. And you're going to have to bow down and apologize and beg for the public's forgiveness. Because only an expert can deal with the problem. The shows that try to solve your problems. The big question is always, how can I get control? How can I take control? But don't forget, this is a question for the regular viewer. The person who's barely getting by. The person who's watching shows about people with problems. The person who's one of the 60% of the US population. 1.3 weeks away. 1.3 paychecks away from a shelter. In other words, a person with problems. So when experts say, let's get to the root of the problem, let's take control of the problem, because if you take control of the problem, you can solve the problem. 
often this doesn't work at all because the situation is completely out of control. Cause only an expert can deal with the problem and only an expert can deal with the problem and only an expert can deal with the problem. You know, that's true, isn't it? You often hear a lot of talk about problems and what we need to do to fix these problems. It's always coming from a bunch of people who are just the ones talking about the problems and making their suggestions on how to fix the problems um, when they are not the ones that have the problems. It's almost like these problems need to persist because if they were to actually solve the problems, then they would no longer be needed as someone to potentially provide the solution to the problems. I think that's why not a lot of things actually get solved in the world of politics, because if politicians could actually solve all of these problems, then we wouldn't need them anymore. But all they're going to do is just continually present themselves. They are going to be the one that, where all others have failed before, will succeed in solving all of your problems. So let's put them in power, and they will continue to not solve the problems. All right, let's get back to it. Sometimes experts lend you money. And sometimes they lend you lots of money. And sometimes when the subprime mortgages collapse and banks close and businesses fail and the crisis spreads around the world, sometimes other experts say, just because all the markets crashed doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing. And other experts say, just because all your friends are fired and your family's broken and we didn't see it coming doesn't mean that we were wrong. You know, she said banks failing. You know, we won't let that happen. The banks won't close. The government will just uh, bail them out. And just because you lost your job and your house and all your savings doesn't mean that you don't have to pay for the bailouts for the traders and the bankers and the speculators. Because only an expert can design a bailout and only an expert can expect a bailout. Because only an expert can deal with Some of the experts say it's no problem. And if other experts claim it's no problem, or explain why it's no problem, then it's simply not a problem. But when an expert says it's a problem, and makes a movie about the problem, and wins an Oscar about the problem, and gets the Nobel Prize about the problem, then all the other experts have to agree. It is most likely a problem. Cause only an expert can deal with the problem and only an expert can deal with the problem and only an expert can deal with the problem. Sorry, I yawned, but it's not out of boredom, it's out of sleepiness. I apologize. That was rude. Please forgive me. Actually, you know what? I will tell you that I yawned, but you should be okay with the fact that I yawned because my yawning during a song, it's not a problem. Trust me. And it's nothing for you to worry about. Even though a country can invade another country, and flatten it, and ruin it, and create havoc and civil war in that other country. If the experts say it's not a problem, 
and everyone agrees they're experts and good at seeing problems, then invading those countries is simply not a problem. And if a country tortures people, and holds citizens without cause or trial, and sets up military tribunals, this is also not a problem. Unless there's an expert who says, this is the beginning of a problem. There's a problem. And seeing the problem is half the problem. Because only an expert can deal with the problem. Only an expert can deal with the problem. Okay, we got Only an Expert by Lori Anderson. Um, I get the overall message of the song. I will disagree, however, with one aspect. It's not a problem unless an expert says it's a problem, and then it's a problem. Or if an expert says it's not a problem, then it's not a problem. But that's to suggest that there's sort of one face that determines and delivers to the public whether or not something is a problem. But clearly, we know that with any issue, you're going to have the opposing sides. And if there's anything else you want me to react to next, please leave it down in the comments below. And this has been another thrilling episode of Tool Fan Reacts. I hope you like me, despite the fact that I'm boring and stupid. Mm -hmm.